Hello, Trev Gilwags here from Trev Bees once again. Today I want to talk about this new hive that I have made. I have been interested in top bar hives for quite some time, but the standard top bar hives that are made don't really suit New Zealand bee conditions. I don't believe that they have a big enough volume inside them, and uh, our bees when they expand uh, need to be supered up so that we can expand the hive. So I have made this little fella. This is two Langstroth boxes wide. So it's 810 mils wide and 505 mils deep and standard depth of a full standard Langstroth. The top of this hive of the boxes is exactly the same height as those two brew boxes over here. So just as a quick little rundown of how I built this thing. I've got a simple gable end roof with an air gap through here to allow air to go in uh, through the top of the hive to allow for condensation so that um, we don't get too much moisture in the hive. A simple core flute inner to uh, keep that uh, moisture trapped inside the hive. Oh, to allow it to escape. I run all my hives with queen excluders, so I have modified these these two queen excluders so they sit like this to give a top entrance. I can shut that top entrance off over a piece of tin that I drop over there. Like that, which now shuts that top entrance off if I wish. Standard landing board, and I find that with my bees, that just that little 75mm entrance is adequate. Um, on my main hives in the background here, which are production hives, producing a lot of honey, they don't need any bigger entrance than that. The hive has a mesh bottom board. I can actually open the door up like this. So if it gets too hot during the summer, I can actually give a bit more ventilation for the bees through the bottom, but with the stainless steel mesh in the bottom, no wasps or anything else can get in there. I'm not quite sure how it's going to run, how much manipulation it's going to be. That's a learning curve for this current season. Um, but that hive over here is going to go in here probably in another couple of weeks time. We might do a little video showing how I'm going to transfer those bees into this box. So how it's set up once we get going. We'll have the normal hive mats on but we're now going to make out that we're expanding the hive. We're going to go from here and now super the hive up. These are medium boxes uh, or honey supers as they're called depending on what they are or three quarter boxes lots of different names for the same beast that now is the equivalent of a four box hive two brood boxes and two honey boxes we would put the hive mats on top as normal And I can just keep supering up to build this hive to any size that I want. But that's now a four box hive, which normally would be up around here somewhere. I could go to a six box hive, normally would be up here, but that would only be maybe that big. 
as I'm getting older, I find that bending down has become an issue, picking up the bigger boxes from higher. So this will prevent me having to bend over so much to manipulate the bottom brood box, and this will, uh, will also stop me having to lift the high levels with the heavy honey boxes. Okay, well that's about it for this hive, my new version of a long hive, top bar hive, whatever you want to call it. Keep an eye out for more updates on uh, YouTube and of course on Trev's Bees uh, on Facebook. We're going to do a couple of updates over the next few weeks, more updates on how this goes with the transfer of the bees into here. Also at that time we will be doing AFB checks um, and of course as we're progressing we will be showing you how I manage the bees and I like to think in a more environmentally friendly way. That's it from Trev at Trev's Bees.